Kurmanjandatka, also known as the Tsaritsa of Alai or the Queen of the South, was a stateswoman in Kyrgyzstan, known her for her initial resistance to the annexation of that region by Russia. Kurmanjan was born into a nomadic family of the Mongush clan in the Alai Mountains. At the age of 18, she was supposed to be married to a man whom she did not see until her wedding day. Such a thing is not heard of even today in the arranged marriages of people in the sedentary parts of Central Asia, and in the 19th century it represented a major violation of a patriarchal tradition. When she met him, she did not like him and broke with tradition, first fleeing into neighboring China and later deciding to stay with her father, Mamadbai. In 1832, the local feudal lord Alembek, who had taken the title Datka and was a capable nobleman who supported the unity of the Kyrgyz people and independence of the Kokan Khanate, uh, which was the state that existed from 1709 till 1876 within the territory of uh, modern Kyrgyzstan, eastern Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, and southeastern Kazakhstan was attracted by young, vivacious woman and married her. An instrumental politician in the increasingly decrepit Kokan Khanate, Alambek was murdered in the course of a palace cope in 1862. After her powerful husband's assassination, Kurmanjan became Datka, a transfer of power approved not only by the Kohan Khan, who ruled lands that included Osh and Kurmanjan's homeland in the Alai Mountains, but also by Muzaffar, the Emir of Bukhara, who temporarily ruled most of the Kohan Khanate during his invasion of this Eastern Central Asian state. In 1876, the Alai region was annexed by the Russian Empire. Recognizing the futility of resistance, Kurmanjan Latka persuaded her people to accept Russian overlordship. Kurmanjan became a kind of general on one hand and on the other hand a governor. During the subsequent continuing unrest and sporadic attempts by the local population to shake off Russian supremacy, gun running and smuggling were profitable businesses. And two of Kumanjan's sons and two of her grandsons were charged with contraband trade. Kurmanjan's husband had fought against the Tsar's advancing army and some of her children did also. For instance, Abdul Dabik, the old, older son of Alambek Datka and Kurmanjan Datka, was leading commander of the army of Pulat Khan during the huge people's uprising against the advanced Russian regime. Pulat Khan was a Firganakrovas mullah named Isha Asanulu, who led the last powerful uprising against both pro Russian Hudayar Khan and the Russian colonial administration. Pulat Khan was executed by the Russians and Abdul Dabek fled to Afghanistan via Pamir. He died in Afghanistan in 1877. When Kurmanjan's favorite son was sentenced to death, she refused the urging of some of her followers to effect a rescue, saying that she would not let her private hopes and ambitions be the cause of suffering for her people. She actually attended her son's public execution. The others was an exiled to Siberia and she essentially retired from public life. That is another message from Kurmanjan that has life. Her greatness was seen in the work for the interests of her people. In the case of Kurmanjan, it's a reminder that a wife, a woman, could let her nation. With all due respect to contemporary women in Asian politics, such as Indira Gandhi, Benazir Bhutto, and Aung San Suu 
Kui, Kurmanjanatra was such a woman at the end of the 19th century. While the Russians treated Kurmanjan with respect and even bestowed the title Tsaritsa Alaya or Queen of the Alai on her, she was still one of the tools to persuade the other Kyrgyz people in that region to live in peace within the framework of colonial Russia. But Kurmanjan was tolerant of different cultures, an important aspect since the area she lived in was still is inhabited by scores of different people. The people of her day seemed to respect Kurmanjan Datra for this tolerance and her ability to govern because records of her can be found preserved in many manuscripts in Chagatai Turkic, Farsi, Kyrgyz and other languages in Arabic script.